Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the Road to 56 mod we're using for Hoi 4. So, I'm, um, of course, Mr. Mocha Lover. A couple comments to get through, though, but this is the border that we've made, or the, you know, borders. So, I like uh, having a big old thick Germany, so, uh, you know, I took out Austria just because, you know, we needed to. Um, we needed for the cords and such, but I decided to give them a continuous border with themselves. I didn't quarrel for them, but, you know, I figured, you know what, Germany could look a little nicer. Regardless, these are the borders. Poland still has pretty much everything else. You know, it is what it is. I'm not really sure what else to say about it, except, of course, Lithuania is still here. Let's go through some po focuses first. So, we just finished up the stab in the back. Um, you know, so despite all the blood spilled by our brave, loyal soldiers during the Great War, the victorious nations gave us a little compensation, depriving us of land populated by Italians. We will correct this injustice and finally achieve the total unification of Italy. Cool. And we're currently doing increased wheat production. The various embargoes make our dependence on imported food stuff even more complicated. A major program to shift farmers to wheat and production will be implemented. Also, additionally, a couple comments. So one second, because the Roman Empire used to own up to the Rhineland, we should take the Rhineland, which I'm okay with. But for now, I think it's best that we just loan this out to the Germans so we don't have to deal with resistance. Sure, we could take the factories, but for now, I think it's okay. I think it's definitely okay, um, considering that... Well, actually, let's get some steel from these guys. We'll take one from you and one from the Polish Republic. Well, thank you. Very nice. Uh... We'll, we'll take this. This is currently on loan to the Germans. We'll take it back eventually. I promise. If I remember. Uh, additionally, someone recommends that instead of... Sh actually, instead of sh uh, sh mercenaries, we should use some shock troops. I didn't realize that. Maybe we should use some shock troops. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah, why not? So we'll probably train some of those if we can. Uh, division to infantry uh, shock troops. Yeah. So we'll duplicate that. I'll do that probably off screen and start training some. Uh, so that'd be nice as well. Shocks. Because I almost never use them. Uh, but we'll convert some of these guys over. I'll, I'll edit with that in a little bit. Um, but right now, we can go to war with these guys. The Swiss. Now, they're guaranteed by the French state, but they're my puppets, so... Hopefully, they don't do anything bad to us. There you go. Ah, uh, French state, you had to break that up. Why are we going to war with the Swiss? Because we can. And it seems like we're doing relatively okay. Um, Switzerland, how strong is Switzerland? It is or October 29th, 1939. They're out of manpower. Uh, they're... Part of the Axis. Oh, we're still at war with Mexico, that's right. We are still at war with Mexico, which really, really honestly kind of sucks. I don't want to be at war with them anymore, but there's really nothing I can do about it, so... Hopefully someone else takes them out. I don't think anyone will, but hopefully someone takes them out, so... Regards, even if we can't win here, you know, it is what it is. Germany, yes, we'll take some whatever you got for us. Uh, you guys should definitely be able to win right there. Oh, or actually win right there, additionally. Um, yeah. I know this is probably not the best way to do stuff, but... You know what? I think up next. So, we could go to war with the UK, but I would really want to take out the Soviet Union just because, first of all, if I could pop in the Soviet Union, that would give us an, an enormous amount of resources to use. Give us a massive manpower pool to pull from. The Allies, or really the UK, would struggle greatly trying to get rid of these guys. So, that's why I want to take them out first and then focus on the UK. So, that also gives us more time to build up our forces, build up our air bases, airports, and additionally... And more importantly, gives our gives up some time for us and our allies, especially our puppets, to build up an army so that even if I can't navally invade, they can still navally invade, which is something I really, really want to make sure that happens. So even if we can't navally invade, because sometimes your allies or our allies can do quite well when invading other people. So the USSR will be next, and we will attack. Oh, there goes well Belgium. So we don't worry about them. Additionally, that means we have to go to war with Yugoslavia, which is another nation we do have to take out to reform the Roman Empire. That's not what I mean. Uh, let's go and do an ultimatum to Albania. Yeah. For many years, we've had views on Albania already having transformed it into a de facto protectorate. It is now time to fully integrate it into our empire by requesting the disposition of the current government. Which would be a very, very good thing. Thank you. Now, they could say no, but we could always navel invade. I'm not too worried about that at all. Uh, and looks like we've lost... It seems like we lost more than that. We only lost 2,300 guys. They lost a lot more, so... Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. But... It is time for Yugoslavia, and hopefully, the Soviet Union. So here we are, everyone. It's 1940, May 15th, and I've actually been able to navally, as well as pair drop, into the UK. So let's talk about a couple of this stuff first. Uh, so, with Italy here, we were at peace for a while. And actually, justifying on people took, like, no time. Uh, I have no extra special mod on for justifying, so it literally took 10 days for me to justify on the UK. We did that, and they were caught completely by surprise. As you can see... I've sent a few divisions down here, and actually they've been sinking a lot of my convoys in the Mediterranean. But I caught them completely by surprise, and we have no fuel. Almost no fuel. Uh, 
or losing Ethiopia, whatever, you know, I don't really care to be honest with you too much. So because of the 10-day justification, and you can see also here that I put, I've literally put all my ships in here. All my ships are in. Um, yeah, it's not looking super great for some of these ships. I'll show you some of the uh, ships we sunk too, but 10 days in, I'm not sure what happened to the enemies. Uh, let's see. Like, for example, they have no airplanes here. Um, the UK does have a couple planes, though, so let's take a look. Uh, they've, of course, manpower. They're still on extensive conscription. Army intel, we're not really sure what they have. They have a lot of divisions, probably. The Navy-wise, I don't know where their Navy is at. Well, actually, some of the some of the ships are in the channel, but a lot of them aren't just aren't here. And the plane-wise, they've got some planes, not a whole lot, but they do have some planes, like... As you can see over here, hold on. I don't know where the planes are at. So, you know what? If they don't have planes, then we can just pair drop. Great. That sounds good to me. As in, And as you can see, I want to pair drop again. I would have would have really liked it's just a pair drop onto London. And here's some casualties so far. Uh, 4,000 losses, 125 divisions. They have somewhat... We've killed a lot of enemies so far. And if we can do this fast enough, hopefully we can capitulate these guys. So, we'll see what happens. We're not fighting the common turn in Yugoslavia yet like I wanted to, just because I actually tried this. I used play this for like an hour or two off screen, and I went to war with Yugoslavia and the Soviet Union. Let's just say it didn't go so well. So, I'm not really sure what the UK is up to, uh, but I want to show you the ships too as well. Let's see, they are at war with the common turn, if I do remember correctly so. Oh, uh, we've lost 19 ships. We've, I've sunk a lot. Let's see, noteworthy battles. Battle of the English Channel. We lost four subs, which sucks. Battle of the English Channel. Uh, we've sunk four type of cruisers. We've lost one light hull destroyers, sunk 12 of them, and they lost another uh, submarine. It's May 15th, of course. Let's see, they've lost six more cruisers, they lost two more heavy ships. So I, I have sunk quite a few ships. We've lost you know, a couple convoys as well. So it's not a whole lot, but I really don't know what their uh, ships or planes are at, which is totally fine with me, don't get me wrong. And actually, to get air superiority, look at this. I've put on 70 planes, 70 factories for planes, as many planes as I could possibly do. I took off quite a few factories for a lot of things. Um, we're out of guns. We're out of a lot of guns, actually, which is really not good. So I'm actually going to do this. We're going to make some more guns. We're out of tanks. Bombers. I focused extremely hard on trying to get more uh, planes in the air, which paid off. And it helps if the AI is kind of stupid and doesn't do anything. Uh, you know what? Help out with that stuff, too. You're not really great for it, but you know what? I'll, I'll use you regardless. And a lot of our ships are repairing too, which is <laughs> 14 out of 14. That's all the dockyards we've got, so. Uh, we go need more fuel too. And also, I've been trading with the United States of all places. I did not want to trade with the U.S. Indian Free States here, of course. Hopefully we get slightly, a slight bit more fuel. We definitely need more uh, guns, oh Jesus Christ. And the Free Indian State here, they're in the common turn. Um, Subhas Chandra Bose is here, so. Not sure what to say about that, really. But yeah, it, it definitely helps out when you just basically sneak attack your enemies. So, and my goal is to get to capitulate these guys as fast as possible, as you can tell. Uh, is there anything else that's missing? Oh, someone did recommend we use shock troops. Well, we, I'd like to, but I didn't realize that they're special forces. And I will eventually use them, as long as we can make more divisions, just because I do. I would like some more paratroopers as well. I like the paratroopers. I actually like them quite a bit. I might start using them more and more, but probably not. We'll see what happens. So, But yeah, um, as you can tell, they're completely caught by surprise. Like, I can't believe I actually was able to pair drop successfully and as well as naval invade so um it is what it is cool the fall of cairo we got it we got cairo too they they literally had no one down there no one down there they were not expecting me to take these guys out like this uh i want you guys to keep these guys in place cut these guys off if you can because we do have this tutorial. also i had to give hate to turkey and i figured you know what we gotta take out turkey later on let's not piss them off besides i don't want to do the resistance down there and they had only like one factory down there so it's, it's worth nothing. Also, I put up some Coast Guard divisions here just in case for all of our future empire. Ooh, ooh that is not good. We have no ships down here too, which is not good. Not, very not, very much not good. Sunk two more destroyers, lost a couple planes, so be it, so be it. Uh, Ace power promoter, as you can tell, I, I've thrown every, everyone in here. I've thrown everything I've got. Well, not maybe not everyone, but a lot of people. Overrunning division, nice. We actually have a division in circle, nice. German right canceled one lease, so be it. Um, we've just been sinking stuff left and right, which is nice. And obviously, we're, we're losing planes too. There's part of their fleet. Yeah, our ships are not doing quite well. We've got London. Another conquest for Italy. Thank goodness. Oh my goodness. Italian forces have successfully stormed London. And the Il Tricolore has been hoisted over the Victoria Tower. Minor fighting continues in some parts of the city. And in an incident this morning, several 
Bersaglieri were gunned down by snipers hitting the top of the Big Ben. After three failed attempts to dislodge them, the entire clock tower was brought down by demolition charges and what Italian officials are calling describing as a regrettable overreaction by the local commander. Oh, we got rid of Big Ben. Don't, we'll build it bigger and better if we really care about it, so. We got him. I really have no idea where the divisions are at. I mean, they're still fighting the Soviet Union. I mean, they haven't lost that many guys. But. Oh, are they? Hold on. I think Norway. Are, I think they're also fighting the... No, no, no. It's just Mexico and the uh, Swiss, which we took out earlier. Ooh. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, boy. That's not good. Hey, we cut these guys off. That's, that's pretty nice. Ooh, attacking this way is going to be a bad idea, but they don't have that many divisions. These guys are getting incredibly weak over here, which I really don't like. Oh, do not get encircled. Yeah, and these guys, I mean, I'll be honest. I sent these guys over. They're not actually, there are very few Italians over there, so... You know, what happens, happens. You know, casualties occur. I want the Suez. I really want the Suez. Come on, kill these guys off so we can get more forces down there. Honestly, with all these guys, they're just expendable. And it's like I said, there's very few Italians in these divisions, except for you, maybe? No, no, no. You're Ethiopian, Ethi 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 so. And we're still on limited conscription, so. Right. Oh, nice. Hey, there we go. Sunk two heavy cruisers. Love it. Sunk five more destroyers. We sunk four more destroyers. We sunk three more destroyers. Everyone, you just gotta go, 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 go. There is no stopping here. You gotta get all the way up to Scotland. We gotta capitulate them ASAP. And actually, I think I might just... <sighs> Air superiority wise, I still understand. Oh, now they have their planes. Thank you. Thank you for showing up. I don't think we'll be able to actually use these guys to do what we want to do, so. We're gonna join the front lines. I think I actually made these guys a little bigger. Enemies. Uh, yeah, that's fine. You wanna join Hungary? Hungary did join us, so. Because of one of our focuses. Go in, just go in. Just go straight on in. We gotta capitulate these guys ASAP so no one else can, like, live and such. Permission flying is nice. That's going to be super important. Let's grab some hunt and destroy. That'd be good. Uh, I'm okay, guys. I'm not really sure what I can do with you guys, to be honest with you. So, Did we get the Suez? Did, did, did we get it? I'd like to do war bonds. I want to see my political power up, though. Um, oh, yeah. Doing all this stuff would be really good, too. Where is this? Casablanca. Uh, that's over the waterway. No. That's kind of over the waterway as well. I'd love to do that. This one wouldn't be bad to do, actually. Yeah, but I don't want to use my civilian factories for now. Realize Roman ambitions. It doesn't look like we got the Suez Canal yet. We gotta get both sides, probably. Oh, we need to blow it. Oh, we need to own Sinai. So, which is right there ish. So. Very good. Now we're not even fighting over a river, hopefully. There we go. That's good. That's some good stuff. And you guys go over there, help take them, take them out. Oh, they still have airplanes around there, but whatever. Port Said? That's okay. Oh, God, we're gonna need more fuel. Oh, look at that. that that's, that's really bad for us. But they do have convoys down here, so we lost a lot of planes. They should be hurting quite badly. I'm gonna have these guys over here. They're not really doing anything. I'm kind of using them sort of as a garrison force just in case things go poorly. So we'll see what happens. I'll put you guys down near Spain, though. Whoopsie, my bad. Stop clicking so much, Mr. Mocha Lover. Oof. Oh, God dang it. Yeah, we need more fuel. Romania, which we do need to go to Romania too. Ivan, I love Ivan. Thank you. Help us save off our deaths if you. Where are your soldiers? You know what? I don't. I don't. I don't want to know. I really don't actually care where your soldiers at. Please just die. That's where Birmingham is, huh? Go, 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 go. Yeah, seriously. We literally caught them with their pants down. Ooh, the Oriental Republic of Uruguay seeks to join the Rome Protocols. Their plight to overthrow, overturn the current world order has not escaped the notice of like-minded nations. The Uruguayan recognizes that their best chance to carve out a prosperous future for themselves is to align with us in the coming conflict, and they, therefore, have offered to formally join us against our enemies. Well, it's not bad. They're guaranteed by the U.S., but I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Uruguay. Oh, we love you, but I just don't think it's in the cards right now. We need way more guns, holy crap. And planes. The Black Cruiser sunk. The Destroyer sunk. We lost three more planes. Nine more planes. More planes, planes, planes. Oh, come on. Destroy those Black Cruisers. Ace Pilot promoted. Great. We sunk some convoys. South African convoys. Good, good, good. Go, 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 go. Of course, if I would stop pausing, they could go probably a little faster. Maybe, maybe that's just me. 
Mm, 10, 10, 6. I don't want to do this. Nice. That should help out a little bit more. Good. They're, they're doing a great job. I mean, I, re I really am questioning where the enemy's fleets are. Oh, there's a carrier right there, but it kind of escaped. Uh, good. How are we looking down here? These guys are slowly getting pushed back, which is not good, but we're kind of doing well over here. Japan proposes the tripartite act. The Empire of Japan has sent out fielders for to ascertain our interest in the three powers pact between ourselves, the Japanese, and Germans. The Japanese argue that it's imperative that we support each other in light of increasingly hostile global opinion directed at our efforts. The Germans have already affirmed their support for the idea. Uh, well, Germany's already my puppet, so guaranteeing them means nothing, so why not? It's a defensive uh, pact, if I do remember correctly, so... 15! We lost a lot of planes, which I... Uh, might be a little harder to replace. And some of these German divisions are 40 combat with, so... Yeah, why not? You guys... Well, so I throw in these guys in my normal divisions, because they're really good. And you guys become Coast Guards. So, that's just how I, I roll right now. Okay, so seriously, they, they don't have their divisions here. They must be in India. I, I've got to assume they're in India. 16 more divisions or destroyers gone? Great. Alright, so you guys, they lost quite a bit more. The Free Indian State, of course, and the Raj. I love that the common turns at war with them. And the Japanese are struggling over here, too. That's fine. I don't care. Um, thank God they're at war. Thank God we just, like, we did that. Also, we have enforced patriarchy because I thought, you know, we need more output. Really, recruitable population is not going to be a big issue for us right now. And Revolutionary Minds. I kind of want to do Hierarchy. Uh, that's not too bad either. Resource Efficiency Gain. More output, too. States Mandate. Yeah, we'll probably go with this one. Just because it's... But we're already so fast in doing everything. But I'd, I'd rather not see this, I'll be honest with you. I'd rather not. But at the same time, we're already using Light Tanks. We can produce them faster or use them. Hmm. Let's go Offician Mechanicia. Offensive Light Tank Manufacturers. Why not? And we're doing nationalizing the bank stuff. I forgot to read this to you. So, the financial difficulties brought on by the Great Depression, the brutal deflation and cost of the war in Ethiopia show the financial sector can only function under the strict state supervision. We will sign a decree that will bring the banking sector under our control. We militarize the Rome Protocols. I can't remember if I read this or not. I've already tried this two or three times. So, the Rome Protocols were agreements that we signed with Austrian Hungary concerning economic cooperation between our three nations and a position against the territorial integrity of Yugoslavia. Transforming these agreements into an alliance treaty would make it possible to defend Austria, which is subject to the lust of the Reich, as well as to expand Italian influence in Europe. And I think that's pretty much all that I've really done. I can't remember... Oh, actually, do we do anything down here, maybe? Bringing it to, to the Mezzogiorno. The southern region of Italy has always been behind in terms of industrialization, most of its inhabitants being farmers. It is time to bring this out to a level equal to the north in terms of industry. As well as this one, to prepare the economy for war, we are far behind the other nations of Europe in terms of military production. Due to our already rather weak industrialization, only concentrated from the north. Major economic efforts will have to be made to achieve a sufficient level of production to properly supply the army. Uh, yeah, I think everything else we've done so far, so... I'll be honest, like I said, I, I, I can't remember. I've already tried this once, and I was going to, you know, release this release this specific video earlier, but I didn't like what I did with it, so... That's why sometimes my videos are late, because I don't like what I did with certain videos. Uh, more resource efficiency gain, more factory output would be pretty good. we got to do this eventually, and we got to go to war with the Romanians, so... Let's do Nuova Italiana. Our conquest of Ethiopia represents a perfect opportunity for women to mobilize in the construction of the Italian Empire. The fascist women's groups will expand their roles to cover such new tasks as running training courses on how to fight waste in housework. Very good. We love women here. They're like our second favorite sex. Probably. Probably. Oh, we're building up... Oh, I think we've got enough ports. You know what? Go, just do level one. I thought this would be a little bit... Uh, we don't need that, probably. Build, 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 build. Holy crap, we gotta build, build, build. Nice, very nice. Ah, Wales is almost completely ours. And I do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm during these trying times in uh, England. How are we doing down here? Do we take Sinai? Oh, we're hopefully linking back up over here. So we've cut off one access point for the the allies really for these guys good 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 medium bombers I love dive bombers so much dive bombers are so much fun ah good another regular French division thank you France these guys are veterans oh boy oh boy oh you guys were both beaten up beautiful uh sure why not I could upgrade these guys uh, I kind of want to use that for like air doctrine stuff though so 
Seriously, I, I, I don't understand. And you know what? I don't want to understand where their army is at. Or their, or their air force. Or even the navy. We haven't really engaged in the naval battles with each other. And actually, I've been doing some of my naval doctrine too. Because naval doctrine can literally spell the end of your navy if you don't do it. So. Okay then. Now this is really awesome. Uh, I won't do this off screen just because there's no point for me to. I'd rather show you guys what I'm doing. I'm going to take all of... Ooh, actually. I kind of want to take all of Canada. But at the same time, I think I'll, I think I'll pop it to Canada. Just because I don't want to deal with the stuff down there. Republic of Quebec? Satellite them. Just puppet them. I think that'll be okay. I don't know why we get Nepal, so... United Kingdom? Well, Canada, you can actually have this back. There you go. I can't believe that actually worked. Pair dropping. Navally invading. Making a bunch of fighters. And then they're just, just, just not showing up. It's really nice. It helps that the commenter is fighting here, too. Uh, I'll give the Free State of India. You can have Nepal. Um, I don't really care about it. Where's Mongolian People's Republic? There you are. Here, I, I I can't really get access to this, so you can have that. Oman? Well, I'd love to give the Soviets some stuff, but they're busy fighting these guys. They didn't really do much, honestly. And these guys, I they might have fought a few naval battles, so... You know... And we don't want a lot of border gore now, do we? Especially all across the world, so... You know... Satellite the Republic of British Malaya. Well, sure, why not? That was actually a lot better than I thought what would happen. There's a lot of world tension now. But now we really have to focus on the communists, even though we're still technically at war with the Mexicans. Why? Can America please go to war with Mexico? I don't want to stay with at war with these guys. But okay, then. You know, it. you got to take out the, the UK before they... This is so disgusting. This is kind of disgusting. Before they, you know, join... Before the U.S. joins the war, so... Not bad. And you know what? I'm going to read a few more focuses that we'll do together, or that I'll do off-screen, so that when we come back and join each other again, uh, you're, you're all pretty much caught up to speed. Actually, ooh, land auction. We're almost done. We actually have infiltration in depth, which I want to do, but I'll probably do this... Well, actually, we'll probably do it, because, I mean, while further doctrinal innovation is good, we're almost done with it already, so I'm not really too worried about that. But we, what we will do is Operation Trajan. Trajan. A Romania's strategic position in oil resources means that we cannot afford to see it pass into the sphere of one of our enemies. We will send an ultimatum to the Romanian government asking for Italian monitoring of its diplomatic and internal actions, as well as a guarantee of Italian privilege for access to its oil and finally the return of Transylvania to Hungary, because Hungary is still with us. But even though we will have to take them out and backstab them, because we need Hungary's, uh, you know, territory, tiles to reform the Roman Empire. Anyway, Operation Tiberio. Yugoslavia is a horror resulting from the will of the powers of the Entente. It's now time to put an end to it. And I've got something else to say about that, but we'll be... I'll talk about it in just a little bit. We're going to also move towards autarky. The various embargoes we are subjected to force us to adopt an autarky stance towards our resources. And we'll do one more just in case uh, I do other stuff as well. Military civilian factories. We'll do some increase. Fiat's present in the south. Fiat, one of the largest in tank, car and tank manufacturers, is already well established in the north, but relatively few in the south. We can encourage the creation of plants in this region, and thus increase its industrial potential before we uh, leave each other, before we go to war with Yugoslavia and Soviet Union, or whoever else. I'm thinking, this is not bad. We're still fighting the Axis, you know? The Mexican Axis. If that's the case, if I go to war with Romania, or we go to war with Romania, and or, like, anyone else, uh, Hungary left us. Romania will join an already pre-existing enemy, most likely. So, if Romania goes to war, or we go to war with them. They're actually guaranteed by the Czechs. We'll fight the Czechs. We'll fight the Romanians, who will most likely join the Mexican Axis. Which is weird to say, but whatever. Well, everyone, this isn't quite Yugoslavia and the Soviet Union, but I figured, you know, we already took out the British Isles. Well, how about we finish Ireland off? How about that? You know, it literally took only 10 days. And I'm sorry if you're Irish. But it is what it is, and I think it's time to go. Let's go and try to pair drop as well. Let's see. They joined the Axis, and we took all over Dublin. Look at that. Uh, let's see. They don't. They got no airplanes. They got no. Is Ireland even playing the game at this point? They've got a thousand manpower. Uh, division wise, they four to thirteen. Um, also, we do have some extra planes here too. They had. I got a couple of hurricanes here. Thirteen hundred hurricanes. British hurricanes. I love it. All right. Well, we took over all the VPs, and there goes Ireland. 
Yep, I just want to show you that just because it's a little fun doing that. Well, once again, we're not at war with Yugoslavia or the Soviet Union, but apparently Spain declared war not on me, but they declared war on the Polish Republic. Now, I'm not sure why, but they don't like the Poles, and which dragged me into the war, so as you can see, I'm not ready for a war against the Spanish at all. And, uh, yeah, hopefully they don't jo Oh, I hope the Soviets don't join. We gotta win this quickly then. Oh, please, please, please don't join. Please join the Axis. Please join the Axis. Is it not good? We got some convoy escorts, though. I'm gonna keep doing some uh, naval doctrines because that's gonna be pretty darn important. We have our ships moving around. I've already set this up so that we can do relatively okay. I was poised. I was literally about ready to record to go to war with Romania because I have to send divisions down to South Africa because, well, they're guaranteeing uh, the independence of Romania for some reason. So, go figure. Right now, what are we lacking? We're lacking a lot of support equipment. Soviets. Oh, look at that. Spanish submarinos and planes. Very good. Very, very good. Um, yeah, I was not expecting this now, was I? No, I was not. Oh. And these guys are heading over here, which is good, but... Mmm. Mmm. Wait, is France in the war? Ooh, you know what? Let's wait. Oh, they have a war goal against them, too. Alright. I don't understand why the... They declared war on us, so... Italian-Mexican war? Uh, would you like to join in, guys? Please tell me yes, no, Hungary. Oh, look at that, task force is gone. Uh, Hungary, they were in our alliance. They were literally in our alliance, and then they said, nah, we're joining the Northern Lights. Doesn't make any sense, but that's fine with me. All right, looks like you guys are in the war. Uh, where are we? We're right here. Can we actually win? So I, off screen, I did put on a bunch, a huge amount of planes around here. Now, they're obviously not on screen yet, but eventually. I put hundreds, if not thousands, of fighters. Close to air support, dive bombers, really. Aw, yeah. To shred any enemy that wants to fight us over here. So, the Spanish Republic joined the Axis. We can find some enemy subs. That's why I'm still building some destroyers. Destroyers are very good. They can be very, very good at finding subs, too. So, I, I don't understand this. And I'm so glad they did not join the Soviet Union. Holy bad words, that would have been bad. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, are we ready to invade? Nope, we are. Go right ahead when you can. And I want to take out Romania and Yugoslavia before the end of this episode. Alright. We've already set ourselves up. Okay, then. Yeah. Why not? We've invaded over here, too. Go ahead and do that, and then I'll tell everyone to basically form one front line here. Go and link up down into Almeria. Oh, yeah. This is going a lot better than I expected against the Spanish, because we do have to take them out eventually anyway, so. Screw it. We're taking out Portugal at the same time. Ten days, I don't care. Uh, that's the case. That's the case. Here we go. You guys. Head on over here, yeah. That'd be good. Very good. I don't know why my voice changed. Whatever. Whatever. Very good. Alright, yeah. That accent is probably going to come back someday, randomly. I know, don't ask me where it came from. Sometimes I just feel things and they just come out, which sounds very weird. But that's why... I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm thinking right now. All I know is that the gosh darn Spanish. I mean, yeah, we had to take them out eventually. I don't want your stupid tanks, Germany. Heck, I'm already using, uh, I'm only using light tanks. And I made a 40 combat with. 40 combat with light tanks, probably not very good. But they do have some, uh, armored recon, so that's kind of nice. Seriously, my goodness. Spain, Spain, why did you go to war with me when you weren't ready? Hold on. Recovering from this civil war. Oh, my goodness. They have a class war, which is good for them. A collective recovery efforts. Well, three distribution and daily coming support, so... Yeah. I, I don't understand why they went to war with us. They, that makes no sense, but you know what? I like this. Oh, wait, how much manpower do they have? Over half a million? And we should have absolute air... Yeah, look at this. I have 1,400 planes. Oh, I guess 400 planes. Look at all these... All sorts of planes moving around here. Very, very good. Yeah, at this point, I just... I don't understand the AI sometimes. Then again, are we really supposed to understand the AI? But, you know what? As long as it gives me more naval XP, I'm okay with it. Ooh, and we're lacking what? Yeah, more support equipment. That's kind of an issue for us right now. Uh, go and do that. We need less, less tungsten in that way. Support equipment, definitely need to improve upon. Uh, let's go and make some more military factories. That'd be kind of nice and sweet to roll. It's only one more, but whatever. When these guys capitulate, we might get actually a lot more resources. Which would be very, very nice. Going on down here. Oh, we do have our planes. Oh, 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 they have, they have planes actually. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's so nice. 
Some more, please? Ah, oh, very good. We'll go to war soon now. It's so fast to justify on them, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, I threw, threw my guys on here thinking I was going to naval invade, but... Or, you know, pair drop, I mean. But okay. Seems like we're getting more and more manpower all the time. Which is fine with me, but, you know, whatever. They took over Gibraltar, which sucks, but I don't really care. As you can evidently tell. Uh, let's see. Civil. Go, 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 go. Keep going, guys. Keep going. You're doing a great job. Oh, hello. Um, okay. Increase Fiat's presence in the south is awesome. All right, then. Oh, God. Do I have to really take these guys out? Come on. That's so stupid. Why? Oh. All right. I'm going to have you guys just come down here, then. You can just go over the river, water, way, whatever. Doesn't really matter. You guys come over here, too. Lisbon. And you guys... Actually, I, I'm going to throw you guys back over here. Uh, you guys do this here. Uh, do, like... Bingo, bongo, wing wongo. Cool. And I did say we do some other stuff. I'm not going to actually read. I mean, if you want to read about this one, go right ahead. But I'm just going to manually justify. Why would I waste 70 days when I could just manually justify for 10 day uh, war goal against them? So it doesn't make any sense. I would like to do this one, though. Expand the ODN membership. The Opera Nacional Dopo Lavoro, or National Recreation Club, is an association created in 1925 to deal with workers' free time. At the apolitical level, the latter has increasingly become an auxiliary organ of the party, thus increasing the workers' loyalty to fascism. I love fascism. Don't quote me on that, please. Please don't quote me on that. But someone probably will. Cool. Uh, more subs would be nice. Actually, I kind of want better subs. Destroyers, cruisers. I kind of want to get some carriers as well, but... Obviously, we got to work with whatever we got. And honestly, these 1936 ships, as long as they look like this, in my experience, they're usually good enough, so. Make enough subs, or make enough destroyers, actually, probably. Ooh, we probably want to actually increase that to level 2 at the minimum. Oh my goodness, I'm making garbage here? No, 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 no. No more garbage. We have two cruisers here. Series 4. Series 2. Oh, well, goodbye. There you go. Make one. Fill that one out. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, that's enough subs for us for right now. This is a cruiser hole one. I just... No, I just can't do that. There you go. Make it easier on us. And... Beautiful. Sayuta must be ours. Convoy sunk. Any more divisions? Yes, please. Canada, thank you for the Coast Guards. Oh, good lord. Uh, there you guys right there. I'm not even gonna look at them. Those German divisions should be pretty good. And Coast Guards go over there. And we saw the Vietnamese under us too, so that's pretty nice. All right, they want to go to war with us? Just go in. I don't care. Find their ships, blow them up. They join the Axis. Totally fine with me. You guys, the Coast Guard divisions. Yeah, as you can tell, we're gearing up for a massive war against the uh, Commies. It should be a lot of fun. Hey, another tank division. Great. Actually, you guys are 40 combat with as well, which is pretty good. Which I'm not even using you for some reason right now, but whatever. We have a lot of political power. Wowzers. Let's go grab Beretta, because Berettas are very nice. Well, usually pretty nice. Uh, Beretta 92s. One of my favorite handguns ever. Anyways. Hey, Task Force. Eight destroyers sunk. Some convoys. Some convoys. Oh, God. I don't want to invade Mexico. How's this looking down here? Mm -hmm. Portuguese stuff. Very good. Who's justifying now? They're still justifying on us. Huh. All right. Well, whatever. Head on up here. Just take Sayuta, that'd be nice. Just go on in, have a good time. And we'll end this episode taking out uh, that one nation. Ah, oh, good, 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 good. But we gotta grab this too. Romania, Czechoslovakia. Basically, Europe's gonna be under us. Very nice. Beautiful. There goes the Portuguese Republic. I mean, we could try to invade Mexico. I don't want to get over there. I really don't care. Oh, yeah, Ameri I gave America Colombia when they were at war with someone else. Um, there's really no good way for us to get over there. I mean, we could probably take out... Actually, no, we can. You know, we might just take out Mexico. I might just do that. Hmm. How strong is Mexico? Aviation stuff. Not a lot of manpower. Quite a few divisions. Not a good navy anymore. Not a lot of planes, so we might be able to. So, we'll see what happens.
So everyone, now we're ready to go to war with the Union of South Africa, which is very weird because, well, they're guaranteeing the independence of Romania, which is good. Uh, they're kind of in my way though, so and actually off screen, like, apparently the Union of South Africa said that they are taking over British colonies and they just took all my land. Whatever. Uh, we've expanded Toronto's Steelworks. Toronto, one of the largest cities in the south and one of the most important in economic terms, particularly due to the presence of numerous iron and steel foundries. It will be interesting to seek to develop the sector, which we will need not only for our army, but uh, for the overall development of the Mezzogiorno. So I'm not really sure if we'll be able to go to war with Yugoslavia and, well, at least Romania yet. We might have to go to war with the Soviet Union first, and then Yugoslavia, of course, and then go to war with Romania and such. We'll probably go to war with Mexico before and just to get rid of these guys. But, next up, what we should do, I'll completely ignore all this stuff. What's this one? Regia Marina. For a long time now, the Italian government has been emphasizing the modernization of the Regia Marina. Much more than towards the army or the air force, with the objective of total control of the Mediterranean. Well, I wouldn't say we have 100% control, but it ain't looking bad. I'll put it like that. And also, Japan is just, if I'm honest. Um, they're not doing very well. Actually, they lost a portion of Korea. So... I'm not exactly sure why they're justifying on us. They're fighting a lot of... Oh, they're fighting Americans. Oh, they also they also took Hawaii. Go figure. Anyways. Let's see. I just got... Let's see. Personality cult, which is fine. Let's go to war with these guys. I won't get them out of... Oh. What happened? Maybe I took too long? Maybe I took too long. Wait, no. I have war goals. Oh, we have divisions in there. Oh, that's so stupid. Well, they took over my divisions. They took over my land. That's not fair to me. That's so not fair. There we go. I don't care. I've already, I've already set up our guys around here, so... Oh, they called it New Zealand. Oh, that's fine. Canada can come in. So, who are we fighting here? The, the Allies, of course. Actually, that's not bad. We can take out New Zealand if we can take out South Africa fast enough. I got a lot of divisions. That's fine. Get everyone in. And let's get going. Uh, build up some air bases down here, too. Mozambique. Uh, thank goodness we take out Portugal first. I can't imagine South Africa is that strong, though, so... They have 17... up to 17 destroyers. Quite a few divisions. And a lot of manpower. Uh, they're on extensive conscription as well, so... We shall see what is going on. And there's a lot of Mexicans... On these islands. Cape Verde. Which I think our allies are trying to infiltrate, but whatever. Uh, let's keep doing this. Battleship stuff. Also, I did put, like, my other fleet... Just surrounding the side of Mexico so that they can't deploy anything, which would be nice. Ooh, look at this! Well, four more destroyers. Why not? There you go. Destroyers are very necessary sometimes. Hopefully we can do well against these guys. I hope we can. Should do okay. I, I didn't like it that they just stole everything down here, which was I thought was just really stupid. Um, yeah, I really want to go to war with these guys. You can see that we're ready to go. They're guaranteed... The independence is guaranteed by the Kingdom of Romania. Oh, wait, we can go ahead. The guarantee. Okay, let's just do it. Screw it. I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to waste time. Cool. Ooh, oh, yeah, that's right. We've got some better heavy ship hulls and better subs. Yes. Yes, a thousand times yes. We don't have that much naval XP, but that's all right. We'll deal with whatever we got for now. Oh, we don't have any radar. Oh. Ooh. That's big sad hours. Big sadness. Let's go and do that and just do that. There you go. Cost only 14. That's not too bad. I'm going to do that. Thank you. And then we'll try to upgrade this as much as we can. Obviously, we can't go upgrade it that much. Level 3 engines are good. Level 3 armor. I don't ever like making... I love battle cruisers, but I never make battle cruisers just because they don't get as much bonus upgrades because of the naval doctrine you choose, so... Um, we already have... Let's see, one, two... That's that's pretty good. I don't want to slow us down too much, so let's get some more anti-aircraft. I like that stuff. Honestly, it's not bad. We do have level 3, so I don't want to make that yet. Ooh. Screw it. We'll make, we'll make at least one. There you go. Not bad. Not bad. Um, hopefully it goes okay, though. Yeah, our guys are trying to help invade over there, which is obviously not going that well, but if, as long as we're sinking a lot of Mexican convoys, that's all that matters. Alright, so you guys aren't doing super well around here. That's alright. French state pursues nuclear technology? Fine with me. I'm totally okay with that. Go, 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 go. Nice. You guys come over here. Hungry? No, we're good. I don't know why Japan's just a fight on us. I'm not sure that... Maybe it's just the focus they have. It's probably just the focus they have. Everyone else is pretty much ready to go. I've been ready to go for a while, actually. There we go. Alright, so... Military... Wait, hold on. Military coup d'etat. What's going on here? 
Martial law. Legionary coup d'etat. Choice of two governments, huh? Deal with the devil or is that only for Polish alliance? Well, you're gonna die regardless, so. And they join the... Oh, we're, we're with these guys. They join the Axis. Oh, of course, why wouldn't they? Can you guys do well? I mean, this is going to be pretty painful because... Um, they got a lot of troops, of course. Actually... Yeah... Mm, we still might be able to win, though. I'm going to do this just because I have my paratroopers and they're going to be doing crazy stuff. But since we started... Uh, any damage yet? No? Only 1.8? That's not enough. I'm taking Prague, hopefully... Oh! Oh, the Regina Murray is a bunch of question. Since the end of the Great War, the Italian government has set itself the objective of dominating the Mediterranean and, to achieve this, has launched major projects to modernize the Navy. However, these projects have a cost, and therefore part of the budget normally allocated to the Army was redirected to the Regia, Re Regia, Regia, Regia Marina, creating an imbalance in the production of equipment. We could try to balance the budget to return to something equal for all three branches. Perhaps the key to victory lies in the domination of the seas? Uh, the budget is fine as it is. We must return to a balanced budget. I don't even care what the other stuff is. I want a balanced budget. And a Regia Aeronautica. The war in Abyssinia allowed for us in the first time to use our air force in times of war, the latter having been established in 1923. However, many of our aircraft are still quite old, including biplanes, which we will have to modernize. Ah, another tank division. Glorious. So we have pair dropped in some areas here, which is pretty good. Oh, we took Berno as well. If you guys could help out and actually free yourselves, that'd be great. And we took Kosic. How much more do we have to take from Czechoslovak Republic? Well, we're trying to get Prague. It's going okay. We are no Kingdom of Romania join the Allies. I'm kind of okay with that then. Uh, you guys, you're not doing anything, are you? Go. I don't care if we're losing here, just because we need to win, so... And the more... Oh, we are lost a division. That sucks. Go right on ahead. Yeah, if you use paratroopers, you just, you just gotta assume you're gonna lose some of them, so... Uh, you guys, you're gonna die anyway, so you better... Oh, we broke free! Nice! We broke through there. Very good. Keep these guys in place. It's a giant mess. I'll sw I swear, man, it's a giant, giant mess. But we're looking okay down here, too. Maybe not great, but we're definitely looking okay. So I'm not too worried about this stuff. We have subs just thinking whatever we needed down there. I'm much more worried about this. Oh, we ran a few divisions. Nice! We actually encircled these guys, too. Beautiful. Absolutely Beautiful. And I'll deal with these extra divisions once we're done here, too. Nice, 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 nice. How are the tanks doing? Okay, there goes the Czechoslovak Republic. I'll take it. I'll gladly take it. Next up, we got to come down here and right the wrong down here. Oof. Not very pretty, I would say. Do you guys have orders to come down? Oh, yeah, you could start attacking, I suppose. Alright, you guys did pretty darn well, I'd say. Uh, we lost a few divisions, but like I said, it's going to happen. Alright, we can't quite get to Bucharest, but that's alright. One, two. I'm going to double up Buddy up here. Take away the... Oh, we can't get that far. I'll be fine. One, two. With all the other armies attacking, we should have air superiority. Shouldn't be too long to get that, so. Uh, if you go right there, you can actually encircle those guys. And, uh, you could probably go there too, probably. We might actually take it before some of these guys land, so. The Romanians are not going to be weak, but they're not super, 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 super strong. Oh, Poland's on the war, that's right. So, Poland. There you go. They don't have a choice whether they want to join it or not, so. Which is a good thing for us. It's fine with me. Fine, fine, fine. This is looking a mess. And we cut these guys off. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And the Korean Empire joined the Chinese United Front. I was not expecting this. Korean Empire campaign and Road to 56 win. Oh, they actually do have a unique focus tree. Good luck at that. That's actually really cool. People's Committee of Korea. Hmm. Uh, you guys, throw you over here. Throw these guys. are Germans. Yeah, they are. That's fine. Come on in. And when you guys are ready, when you get over there, we'll throw it. Hello! The Soviets wanted to take some of this too. Okay. I forgot that these guys joined the Allies, so that actually makes a lot of sense then. Um, alright. 
That's fine with me. I don't really care. They probably were definitely not expecting that. If you can move on in there, hopefully capitulate them before they can do anything else, that'd be good. We cannot allow them to get Bucharest. That would be too corrupt. Come on, take it before they do. Oh, they, oh, they, they went away. Okay, that's good. Good stuff. And they should capitulate very soon. Yeah, they're going to capitulate very, very soon, which would be nice. Um, not really much else around here. I love pair trooping. Pair dropping, I should really say. Alright, so you guys... I'd recommend all of you guys just move on down here. There you go. Smash, 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 and bash. And they're gone. Lovely. Uh, I'm actually going to finish these guys off screen, but hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will finish off Mexico and defeat the Soviet Union. Maybe. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.